Hi guys, summer here on this gorgeous spring day and we have a bustum. Pacifiers don't hurt your milk supply. Yes, they do. But I want to explain something. So a lot of people talk about how there's nipple confusion and people don't want to introduce a pacifier because then the baby's going to get used to the pacifier nipple and nurse differently on the mother's nipple and they won't know the difference and dip a dip a dip a do. Okay, so pacifiers have a few things we need to be cautious about. Number one, they take the baby away from the breast where the baby should be to stimulate milk production. And in those first few weeks, that's what's most important in making milk is that stimulation, okay? So the more baby breastfeeds, the more milk you make. The more time they spend on the pacifier, the less milk you'll make. So we need them removing milk from the breast by breastfeeding to make milk. If they're spending time on the pacifier, they're burning calories, that doesn't help them poop, that doesn't help them pee, it doesn't help your body make milk, it can make them lose weight, they can have more jaundice, you'll have a lower milk production, They'll. it just gets just foggy and messy after that. So can you use a pacifier? Of course, I'm not telling you you can't ever use a pacifier. But you need to do that with caution. Why are you using that pacifier? The best time would be to avoid it, like I would say for the first four to six weeks. That's when your milk supply is like the most vulnerable and it's building. After that time period, you could use it in times like when you're not available, like take a shower. Great time in the car when you wish you could remove your breast and give it to the baby, but you can't. Um, that time would be a good time. Not using it as a way to postpone a feeding for a baby because you're in control. The baby wants to feed, but you've said no. Um, that's not the way you want to use a pacifier. And definitely not in those initial weeks because if the baby's showing a sign that they're interested in breastfeeding, if they're cueing, they're licking, smacking, you know, looking for a nipple, they need your nipple because they need to take the milk out to get the milk but to stimulate your milk production. Um, so really it's more about your milk supply than it is about the different nipples. Some babies do get what we call nipple preferenced. They're not confused, they're just imprinting. So if they're imprinting on a firm pacifier nipple or a firm bottle nipple, a human tissue nipple doesn't do anything the same that any bottle nipple, pacifier nipple does. Um, it expands, it moves, it gets like 200% bigger in the mouth than it does at rest. Um, and no matter what anybody says, there's no perfect bottle, no perfect pacifier. They're all different. Well, they're all different than the real thing. So uh, there's not a perfect one out there. Um, but yeah, some babies can get that with early introduction of pacifier, but not every baby. Some babies do great in the beginning between bottle and breast and pacifier and breast, but you just don't know what baby you're gonna have. So use caution. It might complicate breastfeeding. It certainly complicates your milk supply. So for milk supply reasons, let's avoid it. Um, and then when you do introduce that pacifier, don't use it to control feedings. The baby's always in charge of their own feeding and you need to respond to that. Other than that, um, carry on, have a good day. See you later, bye.